Deal. All right, guys, we're recording. Oh, wow. We are live. Back at Fuck. it. We're back. We're back. I remember fourth you guys. Meal. I remember you guys. <laughs> I remember <laughs> I remember you guys. Yeah, uh, fourth meal of the podcast. We're back. Yes, Eric sir. Lux, Five, Ruckus, Vice. So, I'll, you know, what's crazy is uh, I randomly went to YouTube and I went to the uh, HMC page and I saw that our, lo- our last podcast was seven months ago. Damn. Oh, that shit. seven months ago. And I was like, dude, did we really take a seven month break? It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. With that being said, like we got a lot to talk about. Yeah, like, yeah. A lot. I think by this point, you know, we've we've done gigs. Um, we've done yep. streaming, we've switched streaming platforms, we've we've done so many things. Um, we've had co you know, some maybe someone has COVID, someone hasn't, like I had it before it was popular. <laughs> had it before before <laughs> it was a Kevin, thing. Yeah, before when it Kevin Hart. Kevin, Kevin, yeah, Kevin, Kevin, Hart, uh, Kevin Hart said that, right? He said something about like, man, I had it before it was popular. He goes, uh, Tom Hanks <laughs> made that shit popular. Oh, he, oh, he yeah, was, that's right. You had it, it before Tom Hanks? He had it before. Yeah, he had it before. What about Ruckus? Ruckus had it before I think Tom I had Hanks. A, I think I had it. Yeah. Like, he got it from no Tom way. Hanks. <laughs> Ruckus got yeah, it from right. Tom Hanks. Ruckus is the, probably the only DJ I know that might say like, I was kicking it with Tom Hanks. Hanks, yeah. COVID. <laughs> hey, no questions. Yeah. I, I don't know. You might be able to say that too. You know what I mean? <laughs> so first, man, I mean, I feel like I see five the most. I see yeah. Vice uh, often as well. Yeah. Ruckus, yeah. man, we haven't seen you in a while. So yeah, talk to us. Time, man. Talk to us. I, well, I, the last time we saw you, so that's another thing we could talk about, is we actually did a gig together. Yeah. The, uh, the, right. the, the car, the drive-in the drive, festival. Drive in, yeah. yeah, that's right. The, uh, the Global Soundemic event, um, which was really cool, man. Um, it's actually my older brother, uh, who a yeah. lot of you guys know, Joe Barr, who helped me get in the game when I was young, man. Uh, um, he was a partner in Crowbar in Miami a long time ago. Yeah, so that's yeah. how, like, yep. how I started. Like, dope, I got man. my first big gig. But um, so, you know, as all this crazy shit was happening, he was like, you know, let me let me pivot and start start trying to do some things. And he was he was doing the uh, the build outs for the pop ups for all the marketing and merchandise stuff for a lot of like Rock Nation um, artists and stuff. Right. So because all of that was going away, they were like, you know, why don't we do something with drive ins? Because that's what's coming next. Like uh, like people are doing movie drive ins, there's concert drive ins. And um, so we were like, all right, let's do a, a DJ set. So I reached out to all you guys. I was like, yo, I think we can gr- create something cool here. Um, get eight tracks to headline and um, let's, uh, let's build this, build the show out. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's when we last uh, all got together. Yeah. And that set. Yeah. Um, I think we had Lexi Pantera uh, do a live yep. performance. Chanel West Coast. Yeah, Chanel West Coast. What month yeah. was that? How This sounds like a, years ago. It when feels was, like it was years like, ago. That? It was summertime, but it was freezing from what I remember. <laughs> yeah, it was, actually it was pretty cold out. It was yeah. cold. Yeah, yeah what, but the backdrop was, was nice. It was yeah, like, it was dope. It was the beach, Ventura Beach. Ventura was it beach. July or August? Uh, uh, I don't know. August, I think. I think it was August. Yeah, it was yeah. August. No, that was, was fun, August. though. So, yeah, that Super was the last dope. time we saw you, man. So, what's going on? Uh, where are good. you in this world, Ruckus? Where yeah, are where you are in this world? I'm, I'm, in H- I'm in ATL, Georgia. What do we do for you, boy? Oh, wow. A- Atlanta, yeah, Atlanta's man. fully open, right? Wide open. Yeah, yeah it's wide open out here. Um, I'm actually, this is the first time I've visited since uh, since the whole pandemic thing. Um, I came to see my, my big bro, Dallas Austin, uh, who you all know nice. is like the world renowned of course, music. yes, yeah. legend. And, uh, yeah, man. And, um, so I had a little mishap. I was just telling you earlier, I had a mishap. I was in, I was in Tulum, Mexico, right? I go to go play a gig in Tulum, Mexico. Right. And I, uh, eat some, I don't know what, like maybe I eat some food at a party and I had this allergic reaction, like 12 hours later, my tongue starts swelling up crazy. Wow. And I can't even talk, right? I can't talk. I'm like, yeah, guys, I got to go lay down or something. And I know there's something going wrong, right? So Benjamin tell everybody, like, I got to lay down. <laughs> Bro, yeah, not just, outside. Like, mush mouth from fucking. Like, <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're like, what? You're freaking <laughs> so, out, though, right? You're kind of yeah. like freaking oh, out. I'm, I'm freaking point. out. I'm drooling. I can't swallow. My fucking neck hurts. I'm starting to get headaches and shit. I'm yeah. like, oh, man, I got the new London strain. Straight up. No question. <laughs> I'm Googling everything, trying to figure out what the symptoms are over there. I don't oh see anything. Oh, my God. Maybe I'm lucky. Guys come to come check on me a little bit later, and they were like, you want us to call a doctor? And I was like, hell, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the doctor comes, gives me a fucking histamine shot in the ass, right? <laughs> so uh, about maybe like eight hours later, like I'm starting to like, you know, cool off a bit. My tongue starts to swell down and shit. And he was just like, you know, I've seen this before. People eat something or whatever. They have a food allergy yeah. or allergic reaction. Yeah, that's what it sport. sounds like. 
And um, I don't really have like a whole bunch of food allergies, but uh, shellfish not, not too long ago, maybe like five, five, six years ago, I started to get like a mild allergy too. So maybe so is, the, is the moral of the story, don't go to Tulum or Tulum's Don't worth it. go to Tulum, bro. <laughs> hey, don't go to Tulum and eat shellfish. What's yeah. going on? There's something in the water. There's something in the food. Tulum. I don't know. Tulum. I mean, let's talk about Tulum because I, I got I got Tulum's questions about popping. Tulum. I, I, let's, I, talk, let, let's talk about all the cities that I have popping. FOMO. <laughs> I, I've been to Tulum once, and this is yeah. uh, two, three years back. And Tulum, I've so never dope. been. It's so dope, but yeah, it looks it's like nice. it's it's like Club Central right now. Like this is where everyone's at, right? Like let's I talk about what cities are popping. So Tulum okay. is definitely on the top, like one top, of the top of the list. Probably top list. Tulum is wide open. There was like a, a festival that was, I don't think they, I think they shut some of it down, but there was a festival like all like super deep house guys, like oh, wow. ACO Plex and like Black Coffee and Solomon. Diplo was DJing things. there last night. No I saw someone's purple Dip, was Di filming. Diplo, Diplo ACO Plex and Diplo did a, did a back to back one night. Um, oh shit. Yeah, so like all of these guys, and then like a bunch of these guys that you know that, that we don't really know all the names of in, in our territory, um, mm -hmm. AIM and somebody else, but um, really, really good lineup. And just like everybody like on their Burning Man vibes and the capes and the little glasses and yeah. the whatever. And then of course what brings like, you know, with that, it's a cool vibe. Like you got all the like Instagram model girls and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> The party promoters who aren't working in the cities that they normally would work in can get work there and bring those crews. And then, you know, so it's like, it's, it's, going, it's going down in Tulum. It's like, going down. Damn. Yeah. So Miami. You know, I, yeah. So I'm out there a little bit. Uh, Miami, definitely, Pop, definitely yeah. cracking, cracking. New Miami Year's look, Miami. Miami looked normal on yes. like New Year's uh, weekend. Or New yeah, Year's the only Eve place that's not open is Live, right? Live right. and Story. Yeah. But like, I feel well, 11's, 11's open. Rockwell no, isn't oh, open either. Okay, Old Rush. Yeah, uh, Gold Rush, Gold is, Rush open. is open. Swan, uh, that Swan, little club they got. Open. Komodo. But I have friends who went to Miami. They were like, basically, like, yeah, like, it's, like COVID never happened here. Boat charters in Miami right now. Oh yeah, insane. Insane. Damn. Wow. Yeah. Oh. there's so uh, question about Miami: Is indoor dining fully open, or is it still limited? Um, I think it's pretty much fully. Oh, uh, maybe there's like a little bit of a capacity thing. Yeah. But, but I think it's pretty much fully open. Wow. They're probably at, they're probably at eighty percent capacity and shit. But you have to <laughs> yeah. you have to wear masks though. You know. Yeah, like, yeah. You gotta wear masks like moving around the restaurant until you're sitting and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, you know, I think it's just Miami's one of those places like the same way like Georgia or Texas or whatever. Texas, like, yeah. They're doing their thing. Texas is open. Yeah. Uh, so so wait. Open. So we're gonna say Tulum, Miami. Yeah. What comes after that? Texas. Dubai, oh, no, 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 Georgia. Oh, Dubai. Is Dubai, yeah, Dubai open? Because I'm starting Dubai to see Dubai videos flying yeah. around. Like people are going in on Dubai. Dubai uh -huh. I think more like people over in Europe that are going to Dubai, right? Not not too many people right. from the states. Right, exactly. So if you live on that side, or the it's, really it's privileged easier. people from the states, yeah, 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 it was actually really privileged from the states. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if you live on that side, it's easier. um, and then let's go Texas. So Texas, I yeah, feel like Texas Austin is, is the place that everyone's going. I've been Austin I, or Houston. Um, Austin. I think Austin, from the standpoint of business, like you know, like um, Joe Rogan's podcast and tech yeah, and all yeah, that kind of stuff, yeah. they and they they, they take a little bit Tesla. more preca precautions out there because I you did, DJed, right? I Brad? did back to back Austin and Houston, and then Austin, like you know, they practice you know social distancing, the whole uh, um, twenty five percent capacity or forty whatever. But then when I went to Houston, oh my god, <laughs> wilding out, <laughs> like, like, game on! I really, I came, when I came back, I tested, isolated. I was like, dude. I swear to God, if I survive this, I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm like immune. No. I ain't gonna lie. Five is like one of the guys is living his life and he's has it. He's like dodging bullets. Left and you have and right. not got COVID, five, he right? He has not gotten it. Oh. Then I talked to someone else who's like locked up in their house and they went to the market and got back. Like, I got COVID. Damn. Oh, I, yeah. We have a homie that went out, like never didn't go out for like four months, went to like a bar and came back yeah. the three days oh. got COVID. Yeah, it's tough, like so. I mean, knock on wood, you know. Like, I'm also a, like, I, I had a family you, member. Five's mic is a little hot. Yeah, <laughs> is it hot right now? Hold on, just yeah, just go a little, a little further from it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, your mic's a little hot, Daddy. Oh, right, hold on. <laughs> I, I, I we still want to see you, bro. We still want to see you. I know. Yeah, I know. See you. Yeah, show your don't face, leave. bro. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. So, so <laughs> we're talking cities real quick, and we're at we're at Austin yeah. and and Dallas. I think yeah. after that, it, so, yeah. it goes to Vegas, which sounds crazy that like Vegas oh, no, is wait. I'm about to say, wait, we got to put some respect on Vegas. Vegas was definitely cracking. Yeah. yeah. Vegas was like, like insane no at clubs, one point. 
Shout out Dallas Austin in the building. What up, Dallas Austin? Yeah, Dallas, Dallas Austin. Austin. <laughs> Legend. <laughs> we, we, we doing a uh, doing a headline of music podcast. Um, Yo, so uh, Vegas is open, but it's and Deluxe can speak on this because he DJ, but it's twenty five percent capacity. Yeah. No Ooh. GA. No. No bar. GA. No bar. No dance floor. Yeah. There's tables on the dance floor. Yep. Um, they're spread out, so it still feels pretty like light, like in the club. Like it mm. feels very empty. So what's there he is. Yeah. Shout out Dallas. Yeah, man. Oh, if we had an air <laughs> horn, we'd hit the air horn. If we had an air horn. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, I added one in. <laughs> I tell you about him right now too. He's got a he's got a uh, a new distribution company coming out, digital distribution company coming out in a couple of days. I'll talk about that, or oh, maybe so I'll get him to come in, come in and talk yeah, about it. Yeah, that'd be dope. dope. Yeah, really dope. So yeah, so yes. Vegas comes. That's wild. That Vegas is. I mean, let's keep it real. Vegas is on the list down low. But right because now. of but casino, yeah, it's way down low. But because I think because of obviously the casino laws and all the kind of stuff that's intertwined into the nightlife. Yeah. That they're so they're so scared to end up with the amount of lawsuits and the amount of drama that comes with what's going to happen if they really right. open. So let me let me say this: when I was I so I DJed at Tao uh, for New Year's Eve, and then I did Lavo brunch the uh, mm -hmm. Saturday, two days after. Um, the club felt like very yeah. like they were playing by the rules, right? Like everyone's mm -hmm. with the mask until they got to the table. Tables are spread out, so it felt four different. Four people yeah. per table. So Make that four a point. people. Yeah, four, four. people, wow. bro. Four people per table. That's nothing. Everywhere. So if we so if we roll up and Scratchy comes, it's five of us. We got to buy two tables. Mm. Think yeah. about that. So mm. like that, and not just that. Now we can't have girls. So if mm -hmm. there's two guys that want a table, they can invite two girls, and that's it. And mm -hmm. they they can't even pull them from the club. Like they have to bring the two girls. Yeah. So <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Um. But the one thing I will say is the clubs felt different and it was like weird because we're so used to vegas yeah, <laughs> real yeah. vegas energy but the, vibes. but the casino felt normal bro like yeah right people were wearing masks but it was slammed people were gambling some yeah. some a lot of the tables didn't have like the pexi glass like yeah, it yeah. was if the casinos i was walking with james and and uh i'm like dude this feels normal like it's normal. hopping popping well, just the club what, that's, what, that's what i was gonna say yeah. about vegas is that you know it's 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 down on the totem pole as far as the partying goes but there's a lot of traffic there because when Dude. restaurants are open like oh, yeah. great restaurants open there and then also casinos are busy oh, man. Yeah. I, I was gambling my ass off out there man <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, spending you pandemic see. money yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> i uh i played the, which money new year's eve gigs <laughs> i i played yeah, in listening. vegas as well for new year's eve so I did I did the um, the New Year's Eve off the strip of virtual live stream for the Las Vegas Convention right, Authority. Right. So I did oh, the, wow. the LVCA. So it was basically my first gig in person with no crowd. I didn't even have a monitor. They didn't even have a monitor for me. Wow. I had to use my in my my headphones to hear the mix and to do because I was doing live voiceovers and it was a live stream on on like their platforms and it was shot for commercials and all this like they're, oh, they're the same company that they're the same authority that came up with what happens in vegas right, right, right. vegas so mm -hmm. this is their whole new approach to you know what happened what you missed in 2020 will happen in 2021 in vegas so i'm doing that i'm like i'm getting my mario lopez debatable ryan seacrest yeah debatable. <laughs> i'm getting my mario lopez my ryan seacrest on a djing <laughs> headphone microphone and no speaker and no crowd wow. but fireworks are going off and confetti is wild bro so it was it was just like this is 2021 right yeah. now. But yeah. didn't you get some training? For, you got some training from Twitch, right? Just being used to like looking at the monitor. Dude, like, totally. So that 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 is what has helped me in this sense. To, yeah. to just, about, just that, about to ask. To rock like it's crazy to rock right now to, and have no one in front of you right now. It's so Dude, weird. So, so I did uh my first actual club. You know, we've been streaming from this is my streaming room. I'm in my yeah. house, like in the bedroom, yeah. and like uh. And you stream to a to a chat, right? So I was like so nervous to be back in a club. I was like, dude, and, and you know what's crazy is the one thing that threw me off the most was like the equipment. <laughs> I was oh, like, yeah. <laughs> dude, because I got turntables, you know, brand S11. new S S eleven, like whatever, everything's great. Like, and you get to these club beat up nine hundreds and CDJs, it's just like holy shit, I forgot how to use all this equipment. And that <laughs> that threw me off more than like trying to re read a room. But then I was in like my party craze that I haven't, you know, because when you're streaming, you kind of do whatever the hell you want. Uh, if you want to do an R&B set, yeah. that's what's been fun about it. You want to do 80s, new wave, whatever. Yep. And then, uh, so I'm in the club craze and I was like, oh, dude, I felt kind of lost. I was like, yeah. Damn. And then like, 
trying to like read a room again was very interesting to me. I was like, yeah, because everyone's right. sitting down. Yeah, everyone's this table, down. this table likes it. This table hates my guts. That yeah. table just doesn't give a fuck. It was just yeah. like interesting yeah. to like read, read a room, and then yeah. and, th and think about this, bro. Like you guys know, uh, you guys deal with with uh, bottle service clubs, so you know when a someone has a table, they kind of feel entitled, right? right. Like, oh, yeah. have them play this, have them play that. So guess what? Everyone has a table. Yeah. everyone's entitled so they're coming ah. up with requests and i'm like and all kinds of shit and i'm like yo come on and and, yeah. and guess what they're on some like yo i have a table like do what i say type shit and it's like everybody in here has a table yeah. bro like yeah yeah, yeah. And, it's and, very interesting right now man to be honest like to, tr yeah. to try to dj out it's not what we're used to at all let's bro. Speak gigs. Yeah, yeah let's talk gigs. you can't I'm be like... in, you can't be on, on the mic like yo hands up or whatever like i was oh. trying to get i had no bro I was ha having a hard time on the mic. Like, all right, we got 20 minutes left of 2020. Who's ready for 2021? And a Crickets. few cheers. Who the hell was excited for 2021? No one. Oh, no. <laughs> Nothing's going to change. Like, everyone knew, like, no, it's going to be the same bullshit. Yeah. So, like, who got that bro, vaccine? It, Put your hands up. <laughs> it, was, it was very, very interesting and very yeah. hard to, like, to talk to a room, yeah, play yeah. for a room. Yeah. It was just like, damn. It's just well, crazy. It's so weird. Yeah, what did you do, Five? You when I did, though. when I did, Halloween there and uh, they didn't even give me mic. It's like yeah, don't don't get on the mic. We're just so just Lavo out. brunch, Lavo brunch. I had no mic. Yeah, they were like no oh. no mics. Yeah, the only reason actually the only reason they gave me a mic on New Year's Eve was for the countdown. Yeah. I ended up like getting drunk and rocking the mic. Like OT Genesis was there, but they didn't want it. Yeah, they want no oh, mic. Wow, no mic. Yeah. So you two kind of, five? No I mic. Didn't do, I didn't. I didn't know a mic. Yeah. Oh shit! Wow. Yeah. What about other cities? Other cities? Yeah. Go ahead. Bro, it was. <laughs> where have you played how about this five where have you played Vegas? Right. i, I, I so, want to hear about your chicago gig <laughs> oh, oh we'll, we'll get that all right first gig was a private party in idaho a bunch of rich oh, homies that love uh fade and follow fade university put up money together brought me out did like some rich dudes like house party they kept that 60 people which was like dope uh second gigs were austin and houston that was razor wild I think that was crazier than Chicago. I mean, Chicago, I just, well, my first, <laughs> it was this past, uh, you know, uh, New Year's Day, I get offered Chicago four days before. I'm like, dude, I love Chicago. Let's go. And then I thought it was going to be chill because I thought Chicago was closed. Mm -hmm. But I get there. I mean, it wasn't pack pack, but it was definitely more people than I expected. And I mask uh, off everything. I got <laughs> drunk, my mask off, everyone. But ev but you know what people say though? Everyone who says like who, in these cities, all they always say, "Oh, we've had it. We've all had it." <clears throat> wow. That's like that's like the saying. Like so, I mean, maybe feel a little better, but you know. Yeah, that dope. If you if you look at Miami, you look at Tulum, you look at all the cities that are popping. It's the uh, don't worry, I already had it crowd. Yeah, <laughs> right. Hundred percent. Anybody yeah. that's out, that's at a club, that's hanging yeah. out, acting like yeah. it's all good. They Think are, about yeah. it. People, people that already had it, they're not trying to be at the crib locked down. They're not afraid of it. They're just like, man, yeah, let me live my life. Yeah. I've honestly let been chasing ask, around, yeah, bro. Open gyms, open like nail and hair salons, and like open yeah. like if you can go to a restaurant, any of that kind of stuff where you can yeah. go like do your daily life thing like gyms especially you know how i am with the workout like if i if i gotta go somewhere to go work out i'd rather move all the way to that city and be there um, bro think about la like you can't dine outside but you could go to a mall crazy Man. what Man, that's packed so Yo, it's like, fucking it's weird bro costco me is, bro costco is me packed. and scratchy me and scratchy were at costco yesterday packed Slam. like we're like dude we gotta get out of here man. packed like, bro this is like worse packed. than this is worse than Chicago and a, Houston. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot. I was actually, uh, a buddy of mine was telling me there's a, been a whole bunch of crime stuff going on down here in Atlanta at like the big malls, like Lenox Mall and Phipps Mall, because because of that, like people that are coming from from states that that are all locked down, and they wow. are, they do crime wherever they're coming from or whatever else, they come down here and it's the only place to congregate, and so people mm. come together there at the yeah. mall. That's the only spot where you can really do it. And there's been a bunch of weird shit going on. So people yeah. stealing stuff or Amazing. robbing cars or shooting. Here or whatever too, else. LA too. Ruckus, That's the Ruckus, thing. What like, you, go ahead. Ruckus, what are your gigs? We, I want to hear the gigs. You hit, you did your gigs five. What's so, Ruckus's gigs? Cause Ruckus has um, been, been traveling, bro. I have, I, but I've been, tra I've been traveling just for the, for the hell of it to like okay. one, I either yeah. go like work in studios with people that I like in, in different places or, but I did, I did play maybe like four or five. I did um, I did a dinner party for like a like a like a tech company client that did a dinner party for like 50 people in in LA, 
I did like a, uh, an undisclosed client in Cabo one time. I saw that on um, like the gram. I saw yeah. someone a oh, yeah, I was, went by and I was like, oh, the yeah, ruckus. I was, I was, I was showing off extra because the, the place where we were staying was nuts. Like, yeah, <laughs> nuts. Yeah, I was really, really stunting on the ground that, that week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, what else? I played um, during Art Basel weekend. They did like an Art Miami week, oh, wow. um, which was just kind of like, you know, a couple of little gallery things here and there and like, you know, very small stuff. But, um, you know, Miami's been sort of open. So I did, um, I did uh, Bar Bevy at, the Swan uh, restaurant, the upstairs bar, baby nightclub. Yeah, yeah. I uh, did that one night, and I uh, that and I played eleven one night. And, oh shit! Uh, yeah, really? How was that? Yeah, which was wow. a, whole, a whole lot of fun, bro. Just like, <laughs> crazy <laughs> to be bet. in that. In Bomo. That, I, yeah, bet. Super I didn't fun. even know was, they have DJs playing. I thought they were just running. They music. weren't, and, you know. These, like these are these are also these gigs. You know, these are things that I'm doing like for fun because yeah, like keeps the brand alive. I haven't locked. I haven't locked into like the the digital as much as you guys have. Like I did for a while. You saw what I was doing, like doing like all the cool backgrounds in different mm-hmm. places. Yeah, you'd be on a yacht and shit. Um, so I, exactly. Yeah, I yeah, was just do like, you know, live was on thing. I was yacht. like, all right, cool. If if I'm gonna do it, like let's do it in these locations where the backgrounds are like, mm-hmm. oh shit, yeah. you know. Um, so I did that for a while. One that's a pain, it's like such a pain in the ass to do, like to get in all those locations and stuff. Um, but also just like it's it's hard to engage, like you said, like it's hard to engage with like DJing through a th- through this this apparatus yeah. and and yeah. watching a chat and whatever else. And so um, I stopped, you know, I, I stopped after a while and um, was like, all right, let me just go start playing in the little bits of cities that I know are sort of open. And um, you know, they're not paying me any, paying us anywhere near what you know what we get paid normally. Right. But yeah. you do it because I need to keep the yeah. machine oiled, yeah. you know, and keep seeing, no, for seeing sure. what it's like. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, and uh, so I did, uh, and then I also did Socialista, um, which is uh, the uh, the small lounge that's in the Cipriani restaurant in in Miami. Oh yeah, um, another cool, super cool venue, um, which is actually one of my favorite because it was like one of the more true open format vibes that I've gotten to play, like like nice. that we're used to, like in excess, Jay Z, uh, you know. Yahweh, like you know, you can play yeah. everything. Like I'm, you know, yeah. playing trap. I'm playing uh, uh, like uh, deep house and playing everything. There's no so, dance floor, right? No dance floor. Everyone's just uh, n- no, it's like four different different rooms um, that oh, kind of um, that are just like small, like kind of artsy rooms, like really really high end, <laughs> little you know, little trinkets everywhere, nice nice bars and stuff in, in each room. So um, really really cool clientele and very fun. So that was probably one of my favorites. Um, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I think that's about it. Other than Atlanta, that, you're not DJing or you are DJing in Atlanta? I was supposed to. So before I got sick, I was supposed to play Bar Bevy again in Miami on Saturday, which uh, I had to cancel because the tongue was swollen. <laughs> I was like, put the hands off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, uh, I was going to play here in, um, in Atlanta uh, yesterday, Sunday. Um, and then apparently something happened with the club anyway. So it didn't happen. I was like, wow, that's interesting. The universe provides. Um, yeah. And then um, I played in Tulum at this place called Saikuk. Um, it's like a new like uh, Moroccan lounge that's there. Um, that's uh, a bunch of guys from France that I know that are like down with like the whole black coffee team. Um, and uh, they had um, a couple of people playing throughout the week. I think Blondish was playing the day after and somebody else. And then, so I played the night before. Um, so that's why I was in Tulum um, wow. and, and uh, stayed a couple you know, was there for two days and didn't make it out. Yeah. Was Tulum yeah, popping? You've been yeah, all was over. it popping? Was it busy? Um, yeah, Tulum was it was cracking, dude. Yeah. Damn. Cracking. People are Both. constantly going in and out of it, right? Like every yeah. week. Uh, and that was cool too, because it was also something I've been, you know, working on while I'm while I'm not working is working on other genres of music that I don't know as well that I'm in love with. Like yeah. like sh- like that shamanic house style, like slow down s- satori and like all that kind of stuff, gold yeah. cap like style house. I love. Um, and so I've been working on that and, you know, and like building playlists and things of music of East African music, all kinds of stuff that just, you never take the time to do and, you know, have a lot of respect for. So right, right. Yeah. building playlists, that's a big thing because oh, yeah. I, I, during this pandemic, my iTunes, I had to dump in other hard drives that I had just to kind of like get all my, my music in one space because for years I was traveling. I remember even Deluxe had jumped on my laptop and you'd always be like, you ain't got shit in here. And I'm like, yeah. I just have the shit I, I know I can play when I'm out because I kept I kept my my iTunes kind of very minimal to like just the songs that I knew I could I would play and I'd get away with and just maybe a little bit of extra fat. But 
it backfired during the pandemic with streaming. Yeah, we had a big this. discussion about this topic. Yeah, dude. So <laughs> even even right now, I have so much shit, but I but my playlists are kind of all out of whack. I feel like if anyone five is on point with his playlist, because you're on every day streaming, almost every day, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I slowed down now, but like, you know, but yeah, when we started on Twitch, even like IG Live, I was on every day just for the hell of it because I, I wake up at 6 a.m. I'm like, yeah, I'll just make coffee and play music. Yeah. Like, it's fun. So here's an interesting thing that yeah. uh, I was thinking about is, uh, you know, for the most part, uh, a lot of us have been streaming. And like I said, when you stream, you play whatever the hell you want, at least in your head, because the way you see it is like the way I see it and I said this before is like when you're when you're streaming um people are in your room to see you yes it's not like if you're DJ, djing at a club you just so happen to be the dj and people are there with their friends or so and so bought a table and they're yeah. there so like you, you you have to please them more yeah you gotta cater to if, them, you, yeah. if you come into my twitch stream and you don't like what i'm playing you leave like you, yes. you're not forced to stay there exactly. so people just want to hang with you and they kind of like accept whatever you want to play. Right. Yeah. Yep. So it was interesting. Cause we would say like, Oh, like, do you think uh, a lot of like throwbacks and classics and like, it's so, so open uh, format when you, when you play, like I said, you could do a new wave set and like eighties or whatever. And we were like, do you think when you get back to clubs, people will be more open-minded and not just like the same, which is trap hip hop or EDM. But I remember Five's first gig, he was like, yo, the shit we play on streams does not work not in clubs. Nope. <laughs> it does yes. not work in clubs. Okay, good to know, because I didn't know yet. It. Bro, dude, you get it. For sure. You, basically, what you were playing up to whatever, March 2020, you can pick back up yep. and play that same set. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But, they're, they're but the it. shit on the streams, yeah. nah. Yeah. They, they still want the club like energy. They yeah. still want it. Yeah, you need that 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 Jack Harlow, whatever. Yeah. You need the, the that, 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 that last stuff, yeah. yeah. That, that uh, uh, Tyler Yahweh and all that yeah. shit. Like you got to bring all of that new new because these kids they they want to hear it, and they and they're acting like the club basically just started cracking again. Like there's yeah. either either they weren't there when we were there, you know, however long ago because maybe they just turned twenty one or whatever, mm -hmm. or just are still on the wave of like being in the club, but. So they they want to hear this yeah new they want to hear their favorite writer. shit they listen on you know spotify yeah. apple music they want to hear it loud in the club okay exactly. so don't be paying our hit dash every set roscoe dash <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. has it. that might work <laughs> no i think i think i think more just like the throwback like you know you could catch yeah. me in the stream playing like a a, a mace song can't play yeah. that shit on the street yeah, like yeah, in a yeah. club tell you me know, what you like want that. or something like that brandy yeah. you know brandy and fucking the mace yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly Speaking like a brandy in the verses what do you guys think about all these verses and all this stuff that's going on dude i love them yeah, yeah i love them I, I i i haven't been uh up to date on something the, the last one i saw was the jeezy and and uh gucci just because like it was so, <laughs> yeah. so big drama around those guys i wanted to see what yeah. would happen and I ain't gonna lie, I was on edge watching it. I was like, I'm yeah, kind of nervous. What's gonna it happen? Got, it got a little weird at the end of it. It got weird. Yeah. It got yeah. weird at the end, and then yeah. it, and then and then it had a, a happy ending when they performed yeah. the song they did together. But they just did a t short and uh, t short and e forty. It was pretty cool too. Love, yep. But dude, yeah, I love. Oh yeah, the, oh yeah, I did see that one. But I love how how they evolved, man. Like from yeah. just doing the IG live split yeah. screen to now it's a full on production. The like, worst, the worst one was it when Teddy Riley. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucked up, fucked up his whole live stream and wanted yeah. a band, and it was all. I was like, yeah, Whoa, it was overkill, doing? but it brought it brought a certain attention to the whole thing, though. That yeah. was sort oh, of yeah. and it was good know, for me. It was good for memes too. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Sometimes no, those, still... those falters do do more for the for the business than than like something going great and you know five billion new listeners and all that kind for of stuff. For sure, right? it's still. Right. It still lives. Like I'll have a, a audio issue on my Twitch, and people be like, "Oh, who's your sound guy, Teddy Riley?" <laughs> <laughs> like it, that's gonna live forever, bro. Yeah, I've never heard that one. I like that. No, so, oh, I, no, dude. No, people no, be in the I chat like, "Oh shit, Teddy Riley's the sound guy." <laughs> that 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 might go down as one of the all time greatest pandemic hashtags. Oh, that, the, yeah. The Riley stuff. He's, uh, Nate Robinson getting knocked out by Jake Paul was. Oh definitely yeah, that was crazy too. Gosh. Oh my <laughs> god, dude. Floored. That was insane. 
Yeah. And oh, wait, you're Tyson. a boxer. You're a boxer, Ruckus. Hell, like, hell yeah. He's, he's talented, right? Can you just like? Yeah, he's he's talented, and I mean, uh, talented in in what measure, though? You know, I I'm not sure if he's talented as in like, can he beat somebody at his weight class that's really ranked? Yeah. Okay. Probably not. But he's not to be fucked with at all, right. you know. Um, he's com- you know he's composed, he's comfortable, and he, I think different than uh, Logan and, and Logan's my dude. But like I think I think Jake has that like that bite where he really wants to hurt people. Oh uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I think he's got that in him. That's a little bit different, and um, and so like you saw with Nate, he he knocked him clean the fuck. But also Nate didn't know what he was doing. He looked he looked terrible in there. Yeah. Like he, he kept he kept rushing him with his head down and yeah, yeah. shit was silly. Uh, yeah. but, to me, it looked like a mismatch, but man, you know yeah. they both agreed to it. So y- yeah, exactly. They both got paid. Yeah, and, you know. There's, and, there's, they got paid. There's a lot of people still during this pandemic that are getting paid, getting like, richer. There's, there's people Way making richer. crazy money. Also, I look at it like this way too, because my son's 22, and a lot of his and he graduated college, and a lot of his friends just graduated college, and they're all getting jobs, mm. and. They're getting a lot of like whether it's tech online jobs and stuff like that. All these, all this next generation, by the way, that are going to come out when we're back out working, they're just sitting on cash right now because they have nowhere to spend it. A lot, if, yeah. unless you're in Miami, unless you're mm. in Houston. But a lot of these places, they don't have anywhere to go. They can't mm. go to bars. They can't. They're not can't go out to eat with their friends. So they're just saving money. So mm. I'm just fingers crossed when we are fully out of this, like that Roaring Twenties movement that everyone kind of yeah. keeps talking about is mm. going to be the wave that everyone's going to have the younger generation, not everyone. Cause I understand people are hurting during this time, oh, yeah. but yeah. Those, those younger ones that fill our dance floors at 21, 22, 23, 24 have just been sitting on cash. Cause mm-hmm. also that whole flex is, is you can't really flex that much. There's nowhere to buy clothes and buy shoes and wear it to. So it's like, yeah. you're yeah. just stock X. On this cash. Yeah. Right. Stock <laughs> X. But not just but, that the people that are buying shit on stock X and all these reseller shit, they want to go wear it somewhere, so the yeah. clubs will be popping. Yeah, uh, yeah. Will be I I truly do feel on the out on that positive to outlook outlook on this is just that coming back out of this is going to be the wave. The of clubs life. are going to be going the fuck off. What do you what do you I, what do you, I, what do you think uh, timeline wise? I know we all hear different we stuff, all, and we no one really. I don't knows. want to look at seven months ago what we said because we were wrong. Yeah. <laughs> no, we were super wrong. Yeah. We, I think, we, I think but like I think last time I was saying like May or June like twenty twenty one. So I still think. Oh, yeah, okay. I think okay. I think end of summer. Like, I think end of summer. Mm-hmm. No, okay, yeah. August. Right where it's end cold. of summer, like completely back like to normal September? or like normal, like yeah, going into like fall, like yeah. yeah. Oh well, completely nope. back to normal. Sure. Like, what's your what's your take on the uh, the vaccine, Ruckus? Are you doing it or you're not doing it? Yeah, man, I'm black dog. You can't take the vaccine being black dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nah, they was trying to they was trying to give us fucking herpes, gingivitis, and fucking all kinds of shit. Gingivitis. <laughs> gingivitis. They was yeah. trying to give us the hiccups. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm with yeah. you. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sketch on it. I, I, I mean, I, I actually at this day and age, like it's it's so hard to like to do something like that and get away with it. So I, I don't think that that's what's going on. So to take it, whatever, you know, take the shit um, and get it over with, but maybe not to be the first one. Yeah, know? for sure. Exactly. No, let no, me wait. I, let me wait. Yeah. I don't even want the first iPhone, let alone the first iPhone, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> let alone said, the first vaccine. The first, people, first people that were taking it were getting fucking Bell's palsy in their face, like, which is wow. like a, a mild paralysis. I've had that once face. before. I've had really? that once before. How you have the swollen tongue, bro? I had. Oh, I remember. Palsy. I do. And actually, I went to lunch with you and I was like, yo, what's wrong with Vice's face? Yo, yeah. like, and that, and that, that is a, something where you don't know how you get it or why it happens. Yeah, yeah. It, it just happens. But I do know that I had gone like four nights in a row, city to city to city, drinking, no sleep. Getting mm. on the flight, blah 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 blah. Yeah. Was at Marquee, New York, the old Marquee, the old yeah. Marquee, New York. Low and ceiling I, Marquee. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I and I and I got back to the crib in New York at the time, and like woke up the next day, same thing. Like took a sip of water, like and just came wow. down. Like, what? Yeah, that's that's just working yourself. Wait, how long did that last? Like three weeks. Like no three weeks. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say there's people people that have it permanently. I'll say this, like it's really, really, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You smile and stuff. You lose, you can't. You know, you lose your 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 strength in the muscle that's around your in your facial structure. I'll say this. What causes that? There's no way to tell. tell There's no way to tell. But I do say this. I do believe it was stress. Like I'm not a stressed out person. I'm a very like mellow Libra, like Ruckus. I think you're a a Libra, right? My man, Libra Libra gang. gang. But um, but what it is is like our lifestyle pre-COVID was stressful. Like Mm -hmm. flight after flight, Mm -hmm. and, and. Granted, yes, we're spoiled, but flight after flight, 
drinking yeah. late night, going yeah. out after Lack grabbing sleep. food, yeah, no, no sleep, sleep. playing, getting up, you know, like broken sleep is right now. This is the yeah. most sleep I've gotten since probably yeah. like, you know, when I was in my early teens and yeah. as a yeah. bedroom DJ, <laughs> yeah. you know, but yeah. this is like the most rest that I've yeah. ever got. So, I mean, those are the silver linings, man. You know, like I've, I've gotten the, crazy. Actually, you know, not, not worried to, to jump to run somewhere after Thanksgiving, after seeing my family. Oh yeah. Been able right. to you know right. see people on their birthdays and hang out a bit you know all that kind of stuff where it's like and actually and get some sleep and read some yeah. books and listen to some music that I don't normally listen to all that stuff you know that's those are the silver linings but you know meanwhile not making any fucking money and not you yeah. know uh, whatever it is and watching the world fall apart and yeah yeah. yeah speaking yeah. of the virus uh, Martha's on IG getting hers right now <laughs> Martha is Stewart in jail oh, or wow. is she not in jail <laughs> she said not she's in not jail. in jail bro she's out? yeah she's been out dude oh but God, that's I didn't know. funny though first thing that popped up it'd be better if it was like Snoop Dogg giving her the vaccine then I'd be like that's hot <laughs> that is hot like Snoop's like yo <laughs> we smoke a vaccine man. out here dog <laughs> oh yeah we gonna smoke that thing dog yeah. put that vaccine in a joint dog <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> I have a question coming out of this, coming out of this, and I wanted to get everyone's take on this. Coming out of this and like everyone, we're back to work, like let's say if it's the end of summer, um, do you think in our world of like the big room open formats, do you think it's going to be just we want to just hear fucking good music and have a party? Or is it still the whole, we need the big name DJs, like in Vegas, it's going to be Calvin Harris and Chainsmokers and Diplo and and... Unless, so, like, just all these names every weekend, like, do you think that's going to be the wave still? I think, or is it going to be like where every DJ can just go out and work again? Like, I think, I think this, I think, uh, just because clubs were closed for so long and they, they, uh, took a big hit money wise, they're just going to get like medium tier DJs. Hmm. For example, like <laughs> me and uh, like a lot of us. I'm in. Got, I'm in. I'm about to say, yeah, I'll take medium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying like, like, um, I think we'll really thrive because, um, them getting those massive, uh, EDM guys, 300, just doesn't 400, make sense. 500,000. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. But, but what I do think will happen is they'll use those guys for big weekends and holidays. Yeah. And even they will take a, a, a massive cut yeah. and they're just going to sure. have to do it to stay Here's relevant or to make any type of income as well. Cause they, you know, they, they took a hit too. Oh, that was man. in every city before. That's how it used to be in every city, so, right? Like ruckus, like yeah. in Miami, we would play live all the time or all like, it would be, you know, all yeah, these so I don't, places. I don't think it's going to be chain smokers every Saturday or this and this or Diplo every, you know what I mean? I don't think it's going to be that for a while hmm. just because they Financial. need to make it fine. Exactly. Make it they back need, first. Yeah. I, yeah. that's, at least that's what I think is going to happen. I'm on the know. same page as Deluxe. I, I agree. I think it's a financial reason that yeah. they can't just afford those three hundred, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars 500000 paychecks a night for yeah. some of the talent that they were paying for. Yep. Yeah. I, I think, yeah, I, think I think the, the big, the big room clubs in Vegas, we're talking about Vegas, like are going to, you know, ease, like, you know, hold back on like booking the big dudes. But I know, I know for sure there's one new club opening that's going to go in after all that. Yeah, in the yeah, resort yeah. world, the yeah, same resort yeah, world. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, they're, they're going after, <laughs> that's international money coming in. That's yes. not. Yeah, yeah. So they're, yeah. They're, they're, and it's their first club in Vegas, so they're gonna come in hot, you know. So, but, but I think is, for, this is also assuming that the travel that their that their normal fan can even travel here, because mm. right now there's there's a ban on them being traveling yeah. here. So you know the client that right, understands right. that that territory, and and maybe they don't need it. You know, maybe they're they're going to be here and because they open like if you build it they'll come you know people that yeah. are here are going to be like oh that's a new spot that has this going on i'm going to go anyway who cares whether i know it from yeah. anything that i know <laughs> but um you know they're uh they're maybe they're high in clientele that they that they're bringing in to gamble really heavily or whatever maybe that's not going to happen until a little bit later on or whatever yeah yeah, but, yeah. yeah are they're, you they're, they're, they're going to swing for the fences for sure you're right about without that. without any uh detail are you guys hearing anything from like your agents like any type of conversation, like timeline wise, or no? I'm not at all, huh? Tell you yeah. the truth, no, nope. nothing. Yeah, so like me, uh, not to put too much info, but we've we've gotten a couple like hold dates at some spots. Nice. Yeah. So that that's interesting, you know. Like at least they're talking already, which is weird. There, yeah. It's not anytime soon, but like they're holding dates already, which is cool. It's yeah. good to know that that's like the the light at the end of the tunnel, a, you know. A for little, us. Yeah, a little light. Yeah, a little light, because like light you said. It. 
you know, it, it would be nice to get back to making some money, man. Like as much yeah. as I enjoy being home and I've been to Lowe's and Home Depot more than any store <laughs> ever like this. I'm this, Costco. This, dude, I've been, I go to, I go to, hey, look, I go to Trader Joe's. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I ain't playing around I, here, no, man. <laughs> you know bro. I still look great. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. <laughs> we got to get some paper, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we got to get some money, bro. Yeah, we yeah, got to yeah. get back to the money, man. Five, five sure. Trader Joe's or what? Your Trader, Trader Joe's, Joe's every day, man. Five days a week, Trader Joe's. Yeah. Hey, I'm definitely cooking a lot more and all that kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. Cooking a bro. lot more. I don't, I'm like, going to cancel my, my gym membership because I'm let's running talk about outdoors drinking. now. Let's talk about drinking. Oh How's everybody's God. alcoholic levels at right oh, now? Oh, I'm drinking like a fish. <laughs> I've been drinking a lot. I actually, I, I, I stopped for a second because I was going so hard. Yeah, like, I'm slowing like, down. Yeah, like That's I started to look at the skin and like, yeah, you tripping, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. When did you decide to do that? When did you take um, a little break? Uh, that was just about a month and a half, two months ago. Um, nice. So I took a break for about a month, and then then I started like using it in little sections. Like I'll have like uh, you know a couple of days or a weekend or whatever else, and then all right, I'll stop yeah. again or whatever else. Okay. So I, I just needed to like clear out for a second because it, yeah. it was just. It's I just feel like I need to do. to do that too. There's there's no compass for any target to stop you from doing anything. Oh. Like if I know like say I got to play Neon Carnival or something like that, which I'm like, oh, this is my favorite set. I got to make sure that I crush this shit out of it. I'm not drinking for two days before it, you know, or maybe, mm -hmm. maybe three or whatever. I'm going through it. I'm working on it. I'm making edits or whatever. Like I'm, I'm so concentrated on this thing that, that I'll stop doing any of that. I'll stop paying attention to women or drinking right. or whatever, whatever's going to take my mind off uh, concentrating on doing what I'm doing and executing that properly. Yeah. Right. All of that's gone because any gig that I do have is like, it's it's just enough to like whatever i'm just doing it because i want to get out here and dj or whatever there's yeah. not this concentration so yeah. i had to i had to stop drink like to, to force myself um and you know exercising has been helping with that too you know like say like all right well like let me i, I want to get to this pinnacle of exercise or whatever or fitness that will stop me from doing all of that but even then sometimes it's like all right, i'll still go to the gym after i drink <laughs> you know like so yeah it's uh it's, yeah for it's, me it's like balance because yeah. of uh because of being home and because like we have nothing to do and because of Twitch, there's a party every night. Mm -hmm. And like all our friends stream. So it's like, oh shit, it's Tuesday, Vice is on. I gotta have a couple of drinks with Vice. I gotta have a couple of drinks with I'll stream Monday night and then yeah. Wednesday is fade. Me and five, we go crazy. Thursday, like HMC streaming and, and <laughs> Ever's on and Vice is on. So mm -hmm. you're just kind of like you're and, drinking and, the crib, and, like. And we yep. know how it is, bro. Like Vice, yep. <laughs> Vice, Eddie, and this is crazy because every time Vice is on, I'll expect like a FaceTime and I'm like, oh, I gotta get the pressure. <laughs> but I want to drink and with someone, like, bro. I want to yeah. drink with So people. that's, like, that's <laughs> what I'm getting to. That's what I'm getting to. I know because I stream. So I'll be in my room by myself having a drink yep. and then people are in the chat and you're asking who's drinking and they're saying they're drinking. I, I'm guilty of it. I'll be on the couch watching Vice, sober as hell, and I'll be like, "Oh, let's do a shot in five minutes," <laughs> and they're like, "All right, shot. I got my shot." And I was like, "I got this fucking water." <laughs> so, so, what ends up happening is like he'll he'll say, Facetime me. All right, let's do a shot. Then I'll be like, "Oh shit!" So then I'll go to the bar, get a get a shot of Don Julio, yeah. and the next thing you know, it's like I already started. Let's just go. Yes, and now I just get smacked. <laughs> At yep. the comfort of your home, at the comfort of your home. True. But that's the thing is like when you're streaming, you, you have so many friends in the chat supporting you or you got to like return the favor. It's like, oh yeah. shit, Ever's on, Vice is on, I got to get on, yeah. Five's on, yep. you know, yep. you, you got to like watch. And then, you, and then <laughs> like, I, I'm, I'm such a bully. I'd be like, Ever, you better be drinking, Ever, you better be drinking. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I did do that I, I did do a uh, I did a virtual um set for Afropunk uh they did a virtual like festival for Afropunk which is really oh wow cool. wait what's Afropunk again um Afropunk is like a music festival that um that accents like Afrobeat music and like oh, um like sort of like Afro R&B uh so like Masego and her and uh, Moses and um you know Channel Trace and like all that kind of stuff uh Jaden Smith as he started to pop you know um and so I, I played a bunch of like Afro, actually a lot of a lot of headliner music club edit, you know, like hey, Afro nice. Afro beat stuff um, and um, that kind of thing. And one, it was cool to like um, there was no stream that I saw or whatever, so I was I wasn't talking to anybody. And um, it was cool because I was like, we were talking about crowds and, and doing streams. 
I was concentrated on playing what it is that I wanted to play and getting across the the moment, the the vibe that I wanted to, and not necessarily like the crowd and like seeing somebody kind of look at me a certain way or move a certain way, and I, and I all of a sudden I ran to another direction or whatever. So right. Kind of nice to to sort of sit behind the stream sometimes. Um, no, a hundred percent. I was gonna say that too because like it does throw you off when someone's looking at you like I yeah. hate this song or and it like it <laughs> yeah. fucks your head up. Yeah. But in the stream, in the stream, or it makes you start like, drinking. <laughs> it makes you start drinking a hundred percent. And then um, in the stream, like you can really just yeah. do whatever you want and Man, focus on the in. set. Like I've a, done, I've I done a couple. No mic. Did you do no mic one time or you haven't done no mic yet? I haven't done no mic yet, oh, but okay. I, but I, but I, what I did do is, um, you know, people ask you to do a guest set. Oh, can you do a guest stream or whatever? So I, I think it was like Austin Mills birthday. So oh, one sick. hour, Shout one out hour, Austin Mills, man. I can't stop. Yeah, he's so, killing yeah. it. Yeah. Really so I did a one hour set and I actually prepared the set. I made a crate and I prepared a set and like, I was very light on the mic that set and like, I was focused the whole set and it was nice because like if you try to do a set put together a set and then do it in a club and if you look at that one table that wants to kill you yeah it's, it's gonna throw your yeah, yeah. it's gonna yeah. throw your whole set off your your mood and like and ruckus said you you're gonna like try to like oh shit i'm losing them and try to go somewhere else to bring them back and yeah it's so yeah. streaming it has been fun for that reason man like yeah just yeah. the fucking hate, the hate <laughs> yeah. your guts. Either that or I got to do a better job of just learning to be like, fuck all y'all. <laughs> no, let's just start a movement. It's hard. Yeah. Let's start a movement. Like a, like I did a, a sunrise set on the balcony of the Cosmopolitan after yeah, I finished great. my I set. saw that. I love that. Yo, I, I set up my shit and I, I, I streamed, but I also was like, last minute, I was about to start the stream. And I was like, no mic. I was like, I'm not going to be on the mic, like shouting people out doing that. I was like, just play like house music the whole time and just no mic. So I literally didn't do a mic. And that is exactly what you're talking about. I was just like, focus, like, yo, you're just hanging okay. out here. But let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Um, because you, you know, you know, damn right that streaming, a lot of it is engaging engagement. Yeah. A lot of people want that shout out. A lot of people want that, yeah. you know, a story behind or whatever, like, but then again, there's a lot of people that don't, yeah. I, I'll see people in, in a chat, like, just play the song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so I, I, uh, I, to, to be transparent, it, that stream made no money. That stream was like right. low on the on the on the Twitch scale for for income. But my enjoyment of that. Stream hey, wait a second, was... y'all been making money on this? <laughs> oh bro, yeah, yeah, there's a little bit. You of didn't know that? There. You could make money on Twitch, bro. There's a. All right, how about this? Without saying a couple, without saying any names. Yeah. There's been like people that are on Twitch. That used to open for us at you know in Vegas or wherever some certain spots that used to open for us that are making like ten times more than I am on Twitch. Oh, easily. Like they're they're killing it. Killing it. Like I'm wow. talking like I'm talking about like a lot of money, bro. Like more than like they would ever gigs. make at like, gigs. Yeah, like ten, wow. twenty thousand. They can be in there in a month. Over twenty thousand a month on Twitch. Yeah. Wow. So so, so, there's money so yeah. There. Let, let's exp- do you know. Kind of, I know you don't Twitch. Like I, I know I've seen you in the chat a couple of times, but like I know how it's monetized streamed. to an extent. Okay, but yeah, so you I know how I haven't, I haven't spent the time doing it. So basically, um, sub subscriptions is how, the, how you really make money, right? There's other ways. There's like um, it's called ch- cheering or bits, which is like mm-hmm. there's money too, but it's like less. Or it could be a lot of people cheer a lot, whatever. But mm-hmm. subbing is what it is. So so it, you know you pay five dollars a month to sub to someone's stream. So like I pay $5 a month to see Vice, Five, whatever, like I just got a subscription. So for that, I get to see, I get to use all their emotes, which is their custom emojis basically that they made for their page. Um, and then- Is that when uh, I see like all this stuff floating around on the screen float- and like all that shit? Well, you yeah, people that? have those settings for yeah. that, but like, <laughs> I don't have that on my screen, but like okay. in the chat, like if people are using like my logo or whatever. Yeah, I've seen them that- here with this. So they could use that if they only if they subscribe to you, right? Got it. Um, and then watch your stream without an ad. Uh, so so the thing that that makes the most money though is like when you gift subs. So I can be in Vice's thing and just gift like it's kind of like making it rain. Like yeah. you go in a club, buying drinks, yeah, buying a round of drinks. Drinks. drinks, just throw money in wherever it lands, it lands. So I could go in this shit, spend like a hundred dollars and mm-hmm. gift like. I don't know, 25, 25 subscriptions and like 
they just boom the chat they just fly there and then like it'll gift it to random people like you don't even know who you're giving it to ah. so so now there's a lot of people that are in the chats like going off and that's the, the engagement thing they you know you 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 thank them you shout them out whatever and then Got it is. fires other people out it's the same mentality as like bottle clients bro like right. the people that buy out the bottles they want the shout out they want the attention they want this they want that and then if one table gets sparklers and the other one doesn't it's like oh i didn't i get sparklers well you bought one bottle they bought three well give yeah. me three actually yeah. give me four <laughs> you know Apple, give yeah. me four so if they see you shouting out at someone bottles, in the chat i got bottles <laughs> so if you're shouting out someone in the chat that gifted five subs the next guy could be like fuck that i'm gonna give 10 so they, yeah. it, bro they just start going crazy yeah. so okay. there can be some money in, and yeah. the, the one thing we need to do is like those big bottle clients we yeah. need to get them on twitch because they're not on twitch <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly no, i would say going, majority yeah. of the people and five you talk about too i would say majority of the people watching us on twitch aren't in the club right they weren't club no, people yes, probably never not, yeah yeah They've never yeah. experienced it. I, I, I think that in general, that people either they they either never were or they were at a time and now they're not. And it's so great for them for a second to be like, oh, cool. I can check in with like the homies that used to be in the club and like listen to like a club yeah. DJ set and, you know, chat with those folks for a second. And like, I don't actually have to go deal with some like door guy and security and people bumping into me and fucking paying a bunch of money for something that I didn't really want to pay for or whatever. Yep. You know, all of that. And the yeah. cool thing about Twitch is like, um, I've said this before. It's like you build, you're really building a community. Yeah. So it's like, it's not the people in the club. Like, like I said, yeah. in a club is people just want to party, whatever. They're not really going to support a piece of merch you drop. Right. You know, yeah. they just want to just yeah. tell me when you're at marquee again or, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> just like, <laughs> yeah. But, but here, man, like five, five has sold hundreds of mugs because yeah. it's a coffee show. I have a shot glass with my emote on it. And like yeah. that sold a, a bunch of shot glasses. So Sick. there's really a community that like yeah. wants to support, support you yeah. because like, you know, they sit there, they get to know you, they, you play music yeah. for hours and days and weeks. And, and even they, like, uh, during, uh, they appreciate that shit. The drive-in we had like a few, uh, mm. Twitch, uh, people that came. Yeah. Through, there's uh, yeah, our like supporters a, were there. Sick. Yeah. The Sick. spots, you know, they came through. It was dope. They Sick. support way more than people that you might, meet at your club right. right at your club show way way more, more. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. yeah i have a i i i gathered off my instagram when i started off instagram days i gathered um off of a, a service called community i gathered over like 300 phone numbers because Sick. i set up a, a, yeah, no a service that was like yo text me and i'll hit I you i remember back. that yeah and, and diddy uses the same thing diddy has yeah. it uh ellen degeneres has it uh, marshmallow like yes. Martha Chris Stewart Brown, probably Tory Lanez, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. but now at least I have that so when I'm releasing my next single or whatever it may be like hey I'm putting this out early a day for you here's the direct link to it blah 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 mm -hmm. you know like you could you could yep. gain a lot more of your community um yep. off during this time than you can during nightclub time I yeah. feel yeah totally no this for sure a whole new fan base yeah. 100% 100% MOS has been going crazy too. He's on like every day. He's been, he's been kicked, uh, crushing it. Crush. I want to ask everybody too, um, where we're at now, seven months ago, we might've talked about this, but how does everyone feel about like, listen, dude, we're DJs. We're not working like putting Venmo up and other ways to get cash. Right. Because right. let's do keep it real. Like yeah, you gotta there's do it no someplace. money coming in unless yeah. you're doing mm -hmm. others other ways. Like, you know what I mean? Unless you're hustle. You have other grinds, but I yeah. mean, at, and this is speaking general for all DJs, like, yeah. like to have it out He's there. like you know? mushrooms in Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. People got bills right now, man. People got yeah. bills. No, yeah, 100%, no. A hundred percent. Yeah. I don't, at a certain yeah. point. And now I don't think at, there's at this point, with it. before I was kind of like, yeah, chill. Like we might be all right in a second. Now at this point, bro, get it in. Get it yeah. In. I agree. Yeah. Dude. I, that's why I say I, I haven't done it yet, but I, I see people that do. And like, it's not even frowned upon. Like, I, I, I feel like, yeah. Hey man, like, you're playing music for people. Yeah. Like you're entertaining people. Like hours. On even, end. even like I'll be honest, man. Like sometimes I know it's tough times, and sometimes like I'll be streaming, and you can tell who's a who's a subscriber and who's not because there's like not a a like little badge by their name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I feel like sometimes you see people that aren't subscribed, and you're kind of like, like you're in my shit all the time. It's five dollars <laughs> a month. Like yeah. you don't. It's, it's not free. even five dollars. It's not even five dollars per stream. It's five Ooh. like. If someone streams every day, like yeah. it's 50 cents, like 50 cents, yeah. 
50 yeah. cents a day like to watch right. someone stream like so this this dj and i'm talking in general i'm not talking about me i'm talking like yeah. every dj is really spending hours entertaining keeping people entertained during these crazy times playing music yeah. and if you can't support them with five dollars i'm not talking about the gifting shit yeah. we're not a lot of people aren't in the position to gift subs like that but like if for you to not support that dj for five dollars a month and you watch his shit all the time it's pretty fucked up the way i th- <laughs> i see it I, I didn't really think of it until you're saying that now that's like you being on the guest list every time and just showing up and you don't have to pay anything you just ever, get the ticket. Ever buy a drink yeah yeah, yeah you don't, don't, have to buy, buy don't a drink. buy a drink oh yeah nobody yeah. Your it's like yo i'm just gonna pull up i don't have to get but you know what? I'm I'm gonna actually use this moment to be like, I'm gonna put my Twitch and Venmo up like in the in the bot going by because yeah. Think of also Plus this: it. Jeff Bezos on Twitch is still getting a cut of our money. Wow, he's still getting a cut of our money. Jeff Bezos is is still being like, yo, let me take a little bit of that money right there. Yeah, yeah but no, put for up sure. our Venmo or our PayPal, whatever you want to put up. Yeah. Like that's direct to you. That's like, let me ask this. I'm pretty sure, and I would probably answer for all of you. We've all taken cash from somebody on stage while we're DJing. That's like, yo, mm-hmm. man, thank you for that rock. Everybody knows oh, Don oh. Johnson. <laughs> Don, Don, yeah. Don yeah, like I, Johnson. Yeah, motherfucking <laughs> Don Johnson. But I, I've all, I'm not, dude, I've always taken cash when people throw it to me. Sometimes, honestly, if someone throws me a 20, I'll be like, nah, don't just keep it. Like, it's, it's all good. The, yeah. I give it to the assistant if they, you know, if you need it or whatever. Right. Or, yeah. or, the, or the waitress who's helping you at your table. Yeah. Or the bar light back, guy or whatever. Barbacks. The barbacks yeah. are like, here you guys go, whatever. Break but yeah, but I'm, not, I'm not ashamed to take a tip from someone so why not yeah. at this point same thing in how many nine ten months we're already in yeah almost a full year man almost a full yeah. year without income for a lot of djs that so djs listening that are streaming like don't be afraid to put your Venmo, your your paypal whatever and 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 yeah Shit. like and but don't we got be afraid free- to start now start like if 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 yeah. you like if you weren't streaming or anything like that, if you're like, damn, I want to get on, but I'm, I'm late to this. Like, no, nah, there's no nah, late. Nah. There's no, no there's late. No late. It. Get it yeah, in. Just get it in, dude. Every yeah. Time. Especially like uh, you're talking about uh, getting money from people. It's like, yo, like we spent a lot of money on equipment to stream, be able to stream. Like you got to, it's trial and error with new cameras and lighting and this I'm and that. <laughs> I, I, I'm still recouping. I, I think hey. I haven't broken even yet. I don't think hey. I broke even. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh, no video way. cards and audio. No way. Yeah. Green screens ain't cheap. All that shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All that shit. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, dude, like, that's why for me, like sometimes when you do see the people and I'm talking like people that are in your shit all the time and can't drop a five dollars a month. Yeah. It's pretty like, yeah, ridiculous. Like, come on, yeah. man. You, you, you know, you, you enjoy it all the DJs, what they do, at least support them in that way, you know? Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know how, how long we want to keep going, but um, uh, what about the, um, the different platforms other than Twitch? Because a lot of people have been moving off of, off of IG Live because of the, the copyright stuff and all that shit. And then you, people have been moving to Twitch. And then um, I've seen some people going to YouTube or some people going to their Only own. OnlyFans. Oh, really? I see. Okay. I do. Yeah. So, yeah. I've oh, seen, I can imagine. I've, Why not? Wait, can you stream on OnlyFans? No, I think you can yeah. post like mix. You can, or you can post mixes and videos. Hmm. Can you live stream your subscribers? I don't know. I thought I saw I a DJ on OnlyFans. I didn't know you can live. Stream. I have an OnlyFans account. I always sign up for any any platform. Yeah, I always get I always get my name yeah. first. So I to have. post or to look. <laughs> oh. I haven't looked, man. I don't know where. To, I haven't even on the site. <laughs> I haven't even. I haven't looked yet. I want to so bad. I just want to see what's going on. Wait. So, uh, what was the other one you were talking about, Russell? Um, and then some people have been doing like uh, I think Little John was doing his own like LittleJohn.com. He was oh, doing yeah. his. Oh episode. yeah, LittleJohnLive.com or something like that. Uh, LittleJohnLive.com. Mixcloud is out there. Um, Mixcloud is out there. Facebook is still, I think, pretty strong, but it's just a whole different thing, you know. I think, but to monetize, <clears> I think it's easier to do it on Twitch and only. Fa- I mean. I don't know, if, you know, but OnlyFans and then YouTube. Oh yeah, and, and yeah, and YouTube. I don't yeah. know how the copyright stuff on YouTube is though. I think they're pretty yeah. strict. I think they're pretty strict, yeah. Because I, because I, I watch a streamer that just walks around Tokyo, mm-hmm. he streams, and he every time there's like, he walks by a venue with like live music, he always covers the mic. He's like, where's oh, this at? Mm-hmm. Where? There's a there's a guy that I follow on is on YouTube. Oh, okay. And he live streams. Oh yeah, so like, YouTube YouTube will shut you down quick. Yeah. They'll, yeah, they'll, okay. they'll boot you off. Hmm. Yeah. You Interesting. Can't, you can't, you yeah. can't stream live music on there. there it, it could boot you off or you'll get flagged as well. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I don't or, the, or they'll demonetize your, your stream yeah, for having yeah. something that's not copyrighted yeah. or yeah. you own. 
Yeah. Yeah. I think I think Jazzy Jeff is on YouTube though when he's streaming though, isn't he? Oh, is or, he? Was he? Um, I think maybe in the beginning or something. I want to say he's, he's on. on he's well, I know he's on Twitch. Twitch. Oh, he was on Periscope. He was on everything. I'll still say Periscope he, too. He went in. He's on doing streaming. well. He went in, well. in in a good way. Yeah. Who's that? Uh, DJ Jazzy, Jazzy Jeff. Jazzy Jeff. Oh yeah, yeah, Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. He crushed on streaming. Yeah. He's still crushing. He's on. You no, know, he's time. yeah. He yeah. He kills it, and he's just such a dope DJ too. So it's. I dope was like, to watch. I was track listing everything. He was doing like a funk set one day. I was shazamming, writing songs <laughs> down. I was like, oh, he's what's so this good. break? Like, yeah. Dude, he's yeah, so there's, good. There's so many moments that I'm just like, damn. No, Still but so dope. so back to what Ruckus was saying. I think I think whatever platform you choose to d- use, I I recommend I recommend sticking to one because I know a lot of people that'll be on Instagram Live and Twitch and YouTube. And then, mm-hmm. for example, um, Lil John. I'll use Lil John as an example. Like, mm-hmm. I only see him on Twitch because that's what I'm on the most. So mm-hmm. I'll, I'll be in his Twitch, and I'm like, you know, he has whatever. Let's say 700, 800 people, and I'm like, okay. So then I'll go to, and, and one day I was like, let me see his other platforms. So then he was on Facebook. He had like 1,500 people on Facebook, and he had like a thousand people on YouTube, and then he had like, uh. You know, I don't know. Uh, you, the Instagram, no, the Instagram was more like a. I think it was like a, a, a splash page, like go to yeah. whatever. Yeah. That's what I say. And I don't be using that. And one I don't even know that. how many people were on his actual site. But for yep. me, it's like, yo, like, yeah, that that's up. already like almost five thousand people. Just so if he was down. on one, fi- scattered. So if he was on one platform and had five thousand people, it's just a, a lot stronger, in my opinion, right? Yeah. I'm sure, like, I think that's calculated, too, to where, like, he's probably, like, there's people who aren't, don't know how to use Twitch. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they're used to YouTube. and No, I know. I know. But but also, you, this is yeah. all new to everyone. You educate. It everywhere. It's all about educating, too. It's also like, hey, man, like, for example, NGV, right? NGV was killing it on Instagram oh, Live. Insane. And then she started doing Twitch, and then she was doing both. So she was still on Instagram Live. And I was like, damn, like. You're monetizing on Twitch. Why don't you just move everyone? And then eventually she, I, not, not because I, I didn't tell her, I was just thinking this. And then eventually she Get stopped it. doing IG Live. And now her Twitch is popping. Yeah. Just like popping. the that moment she signs on, a, a thousand plus people on there just watching her. Yeah. And like she used to split that, uh, the crowd with Instagram Live. And now she doesn't. Now it's all like she told people, like, hey, yeah. you guys like my mixes? It's easy. Download this app. Or go on the browser twitch.tv, or do it on a uh, app from your t- your smart TV. You could do it on Apple TV, whatever. Like, you, you know, there's me- it's so many different ways to use Twitch, and all you had to do is tell people. And then guess what? Yeah, and my yeah. mom's on cool. Twitch. Yeah, <laughs> my, mom, my mom is too. Yeah, yeah like it's super easy. I'm over so there easy. drinking, like wow. Yeah. It's very easy to use it. So I think it's just about educating people, like whatever platform you choose. If you 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 know want to be just on YouTube, then fine. Yeah. You know? We need something new that works, man. I get let me getting copyright flags on my own songs and shit. Yeah, bro. We're gonna we're, we got to get you on on a, on a Twitch stream with all of us, Ruckus. And yeah, 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 man. Me. Get down with the team. See, that's my thing. I got to click up. Yeah, yeah, we're good. <laughs> yeah. Let us know next time you're in LA too, because yeah. we do. I uh, see the homegirl Caper getting it in. She clicks up. Yeah, she's killing it. Caper's killing it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she, still. We had her on the HMC stream, and her set was insane, yeah. bro. Yeah, like, she, she killed it. Caper's nasty boy. Yeah, yeah she's super yeah. dope. Yeah. Let us know when you're in LA, though. We'll we'll get you a because we have a the HMC. Well, five's there now. We have the HMC office set up to stream. All right, good yeah. deal. I'm in there. Pull up with the laptop. Look at you. You're, it, it depends though. He might, be, he might be on a world tour. We don't know where you're going next. How long are you going to be in Atlanta? How long uh, in Atlanta? I'm thinking about a week. I'm going I'm to work on some music down here. So I'll probably um, work on some music for about a week here. And then um, okay. let's see. Then uh, I might um, end up shooting back to Vegas. Um, oh, you live yeah. in Vegas now. Yeah. Yeah, man. Get Vegas. some Vegas time in. Either that or I'm going to come to LA. So, so we'll see. Let yeah, me check let my us schedule. keep it posted. <laughs> no, I'm not doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Uh, my, looking shooting. at my looking at my calendar is depressing. It's like, uh, cause I cause I had a couple my residencies. Here's my I had a couple schedule. residencies. <laughs> wow, that's my gig schedule. <laughs> that's hilarious. I had a couple residencies that booked a year in advance, so I, I would like get a couple of, like alerts like, oh, eleven this weekend. I'm like, oh shit, Damn. <laughs> crazy. 
Not yet. Not yet, Not yet, man. I hope, yeah. I hope, man. I soon, hope we're though, all man, soon. Back Fingers this. crossed. We will be back, people. Yeah. We will be back. We will be back. Yeah, we're we on will the, be back. There is a little light at the end of this tunnel. So oh, yeah. hopefully, we got to do this before seven months, though. Yeah. <laughs> no, for sure. Yeah, it was good. Come on, let's, it was... let's get back to consistency, guys. Let's get back yeah, to let's the do podcast, it. man. Talk to the people more often. Yes, yeah, for sir. sure. People yeah, we'll, out we'll there, st- let us know you want to hear us, God dang it. Yeah, and we'll start asking, like, you know, questions and stuff like that. I know we got a couple, but. Uh, I think we pretty much covered it. A lot of it was about like the clubs, what they're like now. A lot of it was about Twitch streaming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, someone man. said, what's it, what's it like DJing in a club turned restaurant instead of the opposite? I mean, yeah, it's just weird. <laughs> like <laughs> DJ, DJing to a bunch of tables and, and yes. not a dance floor is very interesting, yeah. you know? Yeah. Unless you go to Miami or Texas. then you Unless you go crowd. somewhere it's open, then... <laughs> yeah. I went to space yeah. one night in Miami. About, they, they had it put together ooh, well. They had it, they, they had it put together well where it's, it's all tables, but you have seven nice. people per table. And then uh, on the dance floor, the one that the big table has like four tables. And so there's a little bit more community. You know, yeah, you yeah. have a little bit more space to add it. And um, a lot of foliage, they built a lot of like trees and stuff hanging all over. So it kind of feels like the space is filled and, wow. and, yeah, yeah. and there's like life to it. So they, they, they did a great job with it. I got a shout out space for that one, but like, it's, uh, there's not a whole lot of people that get it like perfect. It's it's tough to get that yeah. to feeling that vibe and it's very know. hard. Yeah. yeah, especially like like I said with the Vegas having the four people per table is that's four is not man. enough. Yeah. That's not enough. Yeah, it's, that's crazy. But you know what though, like <clears throat> being like us in LA, go, going to Vegas feels somewhat normal to me. Like because uh, I like the I didn't go to Vegas for like the whole year and I started going and you know during the holidays. Yeah, like Thanksgiving and then Christmas. I will stay like. Two weeks at a time and i'm like dude this feels normal yeah. and i come back to yeah. la shut down but i feel energized like i'm like okay i appreciate hmm. you know yeah yeah if i be getting his runs in he'd be i'm a runner now. stairs yeah, yeah. He'd be stairs. we got a question <laughs> we got a question right here from uh, who is your favorite dj and why is it sour milk <laughs> <laughs> and that question came from sour milk. Sour milk, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> sour milk is definitely milk one of my man. favorite. He's dope. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I, I, I do have one question just because it's last one if you want for it's kind of for five and ruckus. Is there since I haven't been in this situation out in gigs yet and deluxe a little bit, is there social awkwardness now? Like if you have a mask on and then like someone comes up to talk to you while you're DJing and they're not wearing a mask, and then you're kind of like uh, do I take my mask off and talk to you or like, bro, bro. Even, all right. I'll say this in Vegas. Even the handshake situation is weird. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're like, some uh, people uh, like this. Uh, some people like, uh, uh, like, yo, hey, like, oh, yeah, a lot of fist, people are, elbow. What, what do we do? So, but like the, mask too, right? That the is mask too. Like, I mean, it's just a good way for me to be like, don't touch me. Don't talk to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. like, I was, I was going to like, my thing was like, I'll keep my mask on when I'm DJ. And then, you know, after fucking three shots. Not not only does it come off, I lose it's like, it. It's like come Bobby Schmurder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <I'm> like, yeah. <laughs> mask yeah. off, fucking mask off. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah so no, that- but but it, there is that awkwardness of uh of you feel rude that you have your mask on and they don't. It's just kind of like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's weird, man. It's gonna be like that for a long time. Yeah. Uh, big big biggest rap artist songs right now. Biggest rap artist, dude. I who's, honestly, who's got, the, who's got the, uh, the, 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 the 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 largest group of smashes that are out right now? I, I would mean, say C, CJ Whoopi is probably the biggest CJ, one. And then, biggest uh, one, but Jack I mean, Carlo. Wait, wait, wait. CJ, what? I have to. Whoopi. Whoopi. CJ Whoopi. Whoopi. Which I'm also saying. They sample an Indian song too, like a Punjabi record. Yeah, yeah. That 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 super uh, that rap. Uh, Sorry. Tell me biggest records, hey, and then can you make uh, a playlist out of this on Spotify or yeah, something? Uh, I don't, I don't yeah, know. I mean, I like. I, I think Pop Smoke still has it on on Smash, pretty much like anything that Pop he's Smoke, on. Rest Smoke. in peace. Yeah, um, dude. I so the next day after my Chicago gig, they're like, "Yo, Five was wasted. He played Chase Lee's song ten times last night." The um, that franchise joint for me. The, no, for me. Oh, or me. Oh yeah, that was so good. That shit bangs. But, um, What's that Jack Harlow song you like at Deluxe? That's the one. Uh, that's the one. Oh, uh, Tyler, Tyler Harrow. Tyler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, yeah. That's, that's banging. Yeah, that's a good. Um, I think. Oh, so so I'm my notes. big. I'm writing notes. I'm writing notes. <laughs> so my biggest, my biggest record, my biggest. Well, my the record that got the biggest reaction from me, um, on New Year's Eve was uh, uh, Meg, Meg the Stallion. Oh yeah, Body. Meg. 
Sure. Body. 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 Yaddy, 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 yaddy. Huh. That, that record was the biggest for me. Wow. Okay. What about WAP since no one ever got to play it in clubs? I just, WAP. WAP. Um, WAP. Uh, WAP. 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 I don't know. Yeah, still. <laughs> What's crazy was like. It, 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 it did well. Yeah, girls love that shit still. On, but on stream, though, we never played the original version, really. We would play like the remixes, like the disco remix. Whatever. I ain't gonna lie. I don't play that song because it makes me very uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't like that song. <laughs> it's just a little like, I don't know who's watching this stream. Like, there's, like the, I'll get videos of yeah, kids yeah, watching. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that too. like for, that too. for that, for streams, I mean, like, it's just like, it's too. It's too fucking aggressive, graphic, yeah. bro. It's, and that's if, aggressive. If, Car is, if Cardi B won't play it in front of her daughter, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, exactly. It's it's pretty <laughs> like for I a have, club, I, have, I get it. I have been out at clubs though, and it's like the for like, there's like, oh, the girls want to hear WAP again. They want to hear WAP. They want to like, all right, bro. Like, yeah, no, the girls it. love that song, but Body yeah. as well. Yeah, body was crazy. Yeah. yeah um, okay. That's what's the up. First so song, we got Meg, the first song. Meg the Stallion, Pop Smoke, CJ, Jack Harlow. Yeah. That's it. What's it's that so Dallas uh, DJ chose? Those records are good too. Like, yo, that, yeah. like, uh, yo, it goes hard. <laughs> <laughs> he has a new one. He has a new one with Tiger. <laughs> I just downloaded it off of oh, him. Oh yeah, he does have a new one with Tiger. It's it's cool. That one's yeah. it's not it's cool. It's kind of for, it sounds kind of forced to me, but yeah, you know. But it's it's you know it's gonna do a little something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think those are the those are the ones. You guys, you guys are way up at more on me than I'm. I'm taking notes, but my I'm a, I'm gonna get with my 22 year old and go through his songs. Oh yeah, he'll know. Yeah, oh he's, he's way, yeah, he's yeah. Way he's way ahead. Yeah, well, you got Tyler, Tyler Yahweh, you got to put on there. Little Dirk, you got to put on there. Um, yeah, got it. I mean, the baby is always of course. <laughs> got it. Little baby, got 42, it. 42 Doug. 42 Doug, I don't know. Yo, you're gonna come with some new music in Atlanta, bro. That's where oh, you're gonna 42 come. 42 Doug. Oh yeah, oh, I'm definitely Before gonna. I'm before listening. shutdown, yeah. Before shutdown, he had that song with uh, Marshmallow. Uh, oh yeah. Or it yeah. came out around around the same time. Right, right around the same time. Yep. Yeah. Um, Where's Roddy Rich? I need some new Roddy Rich. You know he's on a he's on a feature or something that's dope. Him and a Boogie with the hoodie is on a feature of uh, two nice. pop pop smoke records that are both cracking. Oh okay. Oh wow. Um, and um, shit, Fifty Cent just did something with a uh, um, where he sampled the No Limit. Uh, the No Limit uh, bass line from like the old Mary J. Blige uh, joint. Oh, That's no dope. Way. It's dope. Right yep. hmm. the, the Kenny Burke sample? Uh, exactly. Wow. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, yeah. dope. He just dropped a joint. Um, yeah, there's some, there's some things out there. I gotta why, go why, don't you, why, don't y'all, why don't y'all go on your own website and take a look at what's going on? <laughs> I, I do, bro, but like... <laughs> I'm kidding. It's, it's so, so hard much. to fucking... Yeah. I just download like vibey shit for my stream. And yeah. Shit. <laughs> Eccentric edits and yeah, <laughs> Austin yeah. Mills and, you I, know... I, I love a Catronada hop, boy. Yeah, Catronada mm. shit, nothing, bro. Nothing Catra, like it, hey, Catra and Snow Allegra was like my two biggest artists during the 2020. <laughs> oh, I like Snow Allegra, yeah. yeah. spins for me. Snow Allegra's incredible. There's, there's a lot of that kind of territory that's fire. Yeah, like yeah. like Masego is fire or Lucky Mago. Day. Lucky Day is crazy. Or uh, I'm going to yeah, make Sango. Ruckus have, do a playlist of this on HMC. Can we get that? Oh, go to my playlist. I'll send you my playlist. I just, I've been working on nothing but playlists. I got like everything from like, Crazy Fela Kuti run, yeah. like I, I call it undeniable vibes. I got that nice. playlist. Is this so on like, your? Is this yeah. on your uh, Spotify? It's on both Apple Music and Spotify. Cause oh, shout out Larry dang. Jackson. We got to make sure we keep Larry happy. So we got Apple Music team. Okay. And then, uh, and well, we have it. a lot of friends that work for Apple Music too. So we definitely got to yeah. shout out Apple, yeah. Apple Music. Yeah, yeah, I, got, I got him. I got Ruckus. I yeah, got you. Man. There it is. God bless the dance floor playlist is ill. Uh, Heaven on Earth playlist is ill. So there's one that's like the Afro house stuff. There's one that's yep. like, and then the Levitate playlist has got like all the EDM trap oh, you and like got the a lot. trap. Oh yeah, right now. yeah, I've been cooking. No, I'm about bro. to go. The playlist. Nice. Yeah, yeah. We got all right. We got. I got work to do, bro. Yeah, man. I got work to do. Yeah. All right, Word man. up, man. Well, shit we was good? really good. Yeah, really nice. good seeing you guys, especially Ruckus that we haven't seen in a while. Thanks besides like Instagram, Instagram, but. Yeah, yeah. Besides Instagram, but that's you know, it's always nice getting some FaceTime and Good catching up, my brothers. Glad yeah, we all for sure. Are. Glad we all still healthy, alive, and happy, and uh, you know, got a chance to do what we're gonna do a, another day. Everybody that's what's most safe. important, man. Our health. So yes, stay, sir. stay safe, and we'll catch up again soon. Yes, sir. Peace, all right, guys. All right, guys. Peace. Later.